Hello, this is Cindy. Welcome to my channel. I'm trying something different with my camera today. We'll see how this goes. So this is Fabulous Friday, and I'm actually filming this uh, quite a bit in advance because I will be away on vacation, and I apologize, something just went by my window. Um, very loud. I will be on vacation when you see this. So, and just so you know, I'm taking next week off. The first week, the, the end of September, the first week of October, I will not be releasing any videos. I am on vacation. I have not really been on vacation in this way for about two years. Uh, what has, what I've been doing is, if I've been going away, I have been making sure that I have videos all set so that you guys still have stuff to watch even while I'm gone. This time I'm not. I am going away for an entire week. I'll actually be gone 10 days. So by the time you see this, yes, I will be on vacation. There will be no videos next week. If you want to make sure that you are catching when the next videos come out, please make sure you hit the bell. Subscribe, hit that bell so that you know when the next video is coming out and you don't miss any. So, Fun Fold Friday. Um, I'm going to put the link down below to the video where I saw this, to the creator who did this first. Um, but this is a really cool piece. This is one I have finished. So let me show you how it opens. It goes into your journal either as a journal card or you can attach it we'll talk about that in a minute but this is how it opens isn't that cool i'm calling it a star fold i don't really know what it's called if it has a special name but i'm calling it the star fold because it opens like a star so this is not really difficult um, I did it first with a plain piece of paper just to make sure to practice on and to see how it worked. So that's there. Um, I'm going to suggest you do the same because this is a slightly more complicated fold. It, it, the fold itself is not that bad, but it can get that way. So um, she used in her video only plain paper and then she put a pad over the top of it. Hang on. I am... Sorry, hay fever season is upon us, and that was a very loud sneeze that I didn't want to catch on camera. So, what you're going to need is a square piece of paper. This is a six by six that I have. It came from the Pandora Packer paper pack. This is by Panalisa. Um, I will put a link to this down below. I did a review of this particular paper pack at one point, um, a video review. So I will put the link to this particular paper pad down below. Um, the one, This one that I made came out of Everyday Papers. This was from a dollar, family dollar find. It's American Crafts. The key here is the paperweight. This is regular computer paper. It works beautifully with regular computer paper. And like I was starting to say before I sneezed, um, in her video, she makes hers out of it, I write a regular computer paper, then she'll take a piece of heavier cardstock and put it over the top to give it some weight when it lifts. Um, I decided I wanted to try it with cardstock, but this is 160 GSM uh, cardstock. It is not particularly heavy. And so that's why I think this might actually be uh, okay. So you need a square piece of paper and your fold is going to come up. If you have a six by six, this is going to come down to a three by three. If you have a four by four, it's going to come down to a two by two. If you have an eight by eight, you're going to get a four by four. You get the picture. Um, so you're going to fold it in half. And don't worry about the creases too much at this point. Just just crease it, finger crease it. Don't do anything further than that. That's fine. And fold it in half again. So you have folded it in half and folded it in half. Now you're going to take one corner and you're going to bring it to the other corner. Again, just finger creasing. And then you're going to flip it and do it again but with the opposite side. 
Okay? So that was in, in half, in half, up, flip it, and then the other way. Hang on. Oh, that darn hay fever. My glory. Okay, so now you're going to come to the inside, and what you're going to do, you've kind of got this little piece here. You want to actually bring this side in. Come on. I want it to go here and back. And this side in and back. I hope I'm still on camera. I, with my camera angle like this, I can't see it. And there we go. And it folds. So what I'm going to do is now I'm going to go ahead and crease those down so that those are strong creases. And there's my fold. Now what this does do, because you are, because I don't stop that, you go away. Um, like I said, you have a little bit of a crease here. You can see the little bit of a crease there, although it's not, depending upon the pattern paper that you're using, if you're using pattern paper, uh, it, it's not very strong. You can't see it very well. So it, which is good, which is why I tell you don't, crease crease it until you get to the end and then go ahead and do use your bone folder to make the heavy creases that's it that's how simple this is you want to do one more okay let me grab this I'm going to grab my cutter and cut this down to a four by four and we're going to try a tiny one so this is just a piece of computer paper it is four by four. You like that little cutter? I do like this. This is one of my splurges. You fold it in half. You fold it in half. Come on. You fold it up. You flip it over and fold it again. Now you want to take these two sides. Hang on, I think I want to flip it this way. Yeah, you want to take these two sides and bring them in, and these two sides and bring them in, and voila. Now you got a little tiny one. Bitty bitty. And like I said, these can very easily slide into a page. You can put it on a, let me find a page in here that it might work on. I could attach it here and then it would open up like this in your journal. Isn't that cool? I like this one better, I think. I haven't decorated this one yet and I'm probably not gonna decorate today because I already decorated one. And that's really what you do. You just pick pick a paper and go for it. All right. I'm going to try with one more piece of paper. I'll be right back. Okay. I went and I got, this is 8 by 8 inch Stamperia paper. It's also 190 grams GSM, I guess. Um, and I, it's a, but it feels a little bit thicker than the Pandora paper does, so we'll see. But I thought I would like to try this with this weight paper. Let's see how it goes. This is double-sided, but I think it'll still work because if I put this on the inside, you can easily write over the top of that with a black marker or some such. So this is a, a Stamperia paper. It's called Orchids and Cats. And I got it because eventually I'm going to, oops, sorry, I just did that wrong. I wanted this, I wanted this. Then I wanted this. And now I wanna flip it over and I wanna do that. 
I think I may have this backwards. Nope, I got it right. I got it right. Ooh, that folded actually a lot easier. Okay, I'm grab my credit card here. It's not a credit card, it's a hotel card. Big plastic card. So there we go. That does it. Oh, I like that. So I have the flowers on the front. And then that opens to this in the inside. Now, did I lose my bird? Yeah, my bird's kind of folded up inside. But that's okay, because this is a cat. This will go for a cat journal, not for a bird journal. So it's okay to hide the bird a little bit. But you do have room. I, you know, you could obviously put something in there. You could, if you wanted to, you could flap it up a little bit and do something on the inside. Oh yeah, I'm liking this fold a lot. All right. Um, if you have watched all the way through to this point, please make sure you are. Um, I'm trying to get my watch hours up. I had a big day drop off, so I lost a lot of my watch hours, and. Um, it's over a 365-day period. The problem is it, it's movable. You know, as as as, a, as you move along, you get a new day. The old day drops off, and I had a big day drop off, so I kind of went down on my watch hours. So please make sure you're watching the videos a lot all the way through to the end. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and click like to let YouTube know you like. Also, leave a comment below. What do you think of this particular uh, fold? Do you think you'll be using this in your journals? Do you think you'll uh, give it a shot? All right. This is a week off. Until later, way later, this is Cindy signing off.